Good evening and welcome to our midweek reflection. This is Wednesday, May 6th. We're so glad that you're joining us tonight or whenever it is that you have a chance to watch. Hopefully it can be a little uh, pinch of sustenance as you endure these days and uh, find the goodness in them, even when they might be difficult. I share with you a scripture tonight that comes from Psalm chapter 25, verses 16 through 18. Turn to me and be gracious to me, for I am lonely and afflicted. Relieve the troubles of my heart and bring me out of my distress. Consider my affliction and my trouble and forgive all of my sins. One of my favorite bands is uh, a band by the name of Trampled by Turtles. They're actually a Minnesota-based group and uh, they're kind of a funky bluegrass crew. Six guys are from Duluth originally. And they've been playing music together for years. And they uh, have a song called We All Get Lonely that they did a version of just recently, kind of a quarantine version, they call it. And you probably have seen other groups and choirs that are, are putting their music together via individual uh, videos and audios at home and compiling them all to one. And the Trampled by Turtles did the same with this song. And so their pictures are filling the screen as they're each jamming out to this song that um, kind of has a new meaning given our times right now. The lyrics of that particular song really lean into what it means to experience hardship and loneliness. And being native to Minnesota, they tie that into winters. The sounds of branches creaking and moaning, their lyrics say, Shall we still rise in the morning, straighten up our shirt, and head out on our own? Shake the little demons out of the corners of our mind, because with you here, I know we can go farther. And then the chorus. We all get lonely. There's no way around it. We all get lonely. Yeah, then we will make it through. I have been home now for seven, eight weeks, and I'm in a home that is filled with people, and I'm grateful for that. There's a lot of noise, there's a lot of chaos, there's sometimes a lot of fighting. That's not so fun. But nonetheless, um, I'm surrounded by people. Some of you are not. Some of you have been alone for a long time, and I imagine you might be lonely. Even for myself, surrounded with all these people in my own home, I feel lonely at times. The room that I film a lot of uh, my pieces in, this is the guest room, it's at the back of the parsonage upstairs. It's the quietest space in the house, which is why I camp out here, but I will admit that sometimes when I sit here, I feel a little lonely. I hear the noises of fun and activity in other parts of the house. I'm reminded that this is now my workspace and I'm so far away from many of you. It's true that in these days, I'm feeling really connected to people in alternative ways, and I'm grateful for that. There's something kind of mysterious about the way I'm more connected. But in the same breath, I feel really disconnected. As it was true for the psalmist who wrote these words, it's also true for us. These can be troubling days. We might ask, how long, O oh Lord, must we wait? Or be gracious to me, for I am lonely and afflicted, O oh God. We cry out, I miss my family. I miss my sense of community and belonging. I miss human touch. I miss that personalized moment of interaction. We all get lonely. There's no way around it. We all get lonely. But we will make it through. We will make it through through. We will keep on keeping on as the saying goes. We will wear our masks. We will social distance. We will trust the health experts who have spent their lives researching viruses like this. We will keep finding creative ways to reach out and touch each other's lives and hearts when we can't actually touch each other. We will keep the faith even when the valley of darkness closes in and loneliness resides among us like that cold winter day, which thank God we are past and yet we know what it feels like. You who are lonely, I hear you and I see you. You who are lonely, but you might not realize it, 
I see you too. For I'm not sure when we will all be in person gathered together again. But in the words of a bunch of bluegrass pickers, I do know we will make it through. And in the words of an ancient songwriter psalmist, God will bring us out of distress.